Hey guys, it's me, Zell, and we are here with the next episode of The Mandalorian. Uh, season 3 is going to continue on chapter 20 today, The Foundling. I feel like we've already had that title, but maybe not. But maybe they're hinting at Bo-Katan being the foundling because uh, she accidentally converted or joined into Din Djarin's group of Mandalorians um, by going to cleansing water and not removing her helmet. So that's where we're at. Last episode obviously took a different turn, followed Dr. Pesching and his clone technology and then him getting his mind wiped or whatever. Now and then towards the end, obviously it showed us bo and Din returning to the armorer and getting reaccepted back into the group, the clan. Excited to see what's in store. Is Bo gonna stay? She's gonna probably ask some questions. She's gonna see where it goes. I think that community and the grouping of Mandalorians working together is very tempting. And she had her home destroyed, so worth trying, I guess. But anyways, let's get to it. This is a Mandalorian. The next episode, let's get to it. Practice shooting into the water, lovely. Wow, that's quite a lot of them. This feels a little silly to me because they're all grouped together so closely and then they're using so much ammo material. I mean, I get practicing, but... <gasps> Aww. Put down the rocks, kid. It's time that you learn with the other foundlings. Uh, yeah, you chose the life of a Mandalorian. Um, and he's kind of younger than them. Oh my. Is it fair that he's fighting with them with force abilities? If he is ever to rise from foundling to apprentice... Maybe they have to be a certain learn. age before they can do the helmet. Judge. He challenges. All right. He is too small. I am his ward. Proceed. <laughs> Bring the training guards. I like that the kid's gun ho. He's like, why doesn't he wear a helmet? He is too young to speak the creed, and so too young to wear a helmet. Okay, there we go. Answered. Then he's too young to fight. Oh my gosh, are they really gonna make Grogu? Oh, the little. Oh my. Don't worry. My dad was the same way. He's just proud of you. Aww. You take it easy on him, kid. Begin! Point! <laughs> Grogu, I've seen what you can do. Yeah. It's okay. Show them. Begin! To the force jump! Hey -o. Three points. Winner! There you go. Did you teach him that? Not me. Luke. One doesn't speak unless one knows. Man, they're just constantly getting attacked here. Bro. That's why they say no glasses, glasses. There we go. The Dude, that thing's flying fast. There's Bo. Do they all not have ships? You are too young to join them. All in good time. <laughs> oh. Come, Grogu. I like that they respect you. You wish to become a Mandalorian. Come on, little one. <laughs> He's just a babe. Oh my gosh. I feel like. These creatures without the force. I mean, I'm assuming this species that Yoda and Yaddle and Grogu are. Are we just assuming they're all force sensitive? Is that what they're assuming? Just as we shape the Mandalorian steel. Is she making him a little baby helmet? We shape ourselves. The forge can reveal weaknesses. Why were you so sad? Everything's gonna be all right, kid. Wait, where are we seeing 
him. Wait. And is he just protecting any baby that, Jedi that he can, or is Grogu special? I mean, they know everyone's special. Wow, look at him. Dual wielding. Where have I seen him? Oh my gosh. Oh, wait a second. everyone in that train too wait a second we know that ship they're right behind me what about the others there are no others take the ship it's fueled and ready to go come on these are guys from Naboo so did Padme send them warning They all sacrificed. Oh, we got a backstory there. You'll grow into this rondel. Just a chest. You grow into your state. Rondel, okay. Foundling Grogu. Oh. Oh. Oh, it sluts his whole chest. How do you eat when other people are around? You don't. When you get your food, you go off to find a place where you can take off your helmet. She's like, uh, so give me the logistics here. <laughs> you have the honor of staying by the fire. Wow. This is the way. Just like, and her hair is like always perfect. Paz has gotta been working extra hard. Not just with that big weight, but he got big old Gatling gun back. This angle. Well, there's a helmet from the others, because his was blue. It's not the kid, it's a baby! Wait until we clear the area. He's my son! Oh no, he's Ragnar. losing his composure at last minute. <gasps> yep. Mommy, help us. Oh! Bro. She's alive. He sacrificed himself? Somebody else. Oh, snap. Yeah. Oh, no. Bro. Classic. Classic. Oh, that kid's very trusting. Oh, he'll be fine. She'll be fine. <laughs> I'm okay, Dad. Thank you. This is the way. This is the way. Yay, a successful mission. Everyone made it back. Except the mom. We have brought you three more foundlings in need of care and training. Is that so? Uh. <laughs> oh! Oh! Oh my gosh. Wear one pauldron of the night owl and another with the mythosaur. The mythosaur belongs to all Mandalorians. It is always acceptable to wear. She's a believer. What would you say if I told you I saw one? That you saw what? A mythosaur. Oh, please believe. I would say you are very lucky. 
is a noble vision. No. I, I mean a real one. When you choose to walk the way of the Mandalore, you will see many things. This is the way. She neither confirmed nor denied in, in her belief. Interesting. Ah! Oh, Car Weather Weathers directed this one. How fun. Good for you, man. This was like This was a very fun episode. Uh obviously we got to see some covert mission action and they fought against this big old creature and they got some new foundlings pets uh mounts but i guess that's sweet that they consider all of them foundlings you know um and i appreciate that they're being very um open and accepting more than maybe previously seen you know outside of like they're like just keep your helmet on and you can be one of us if you do the way we got to see, you know, some bonding, you know, obviously they rescued what we came to discover Paz's son and even more honors to Bo-Katan, getting her more and more ingrained in this group and feeling a sense of belonging, um, sharing a secret that she was not sure that she would be seen as believed and still not sure if they're like, you saw a real life one or if it was a vision or if it was just accepting that you saw something but i don't think it matters necessarily to the armor i mean i feel like it's a big deal they're like oh legit there is one still alive and she's just like either way i view that as just important in a you know a high noble thing to see that so yeah she's already ranking up in this group you know wasn't really focused on din this episode mandalorian um we got to see him be dad mode though with grogu and and push him but push him because he trusted and believed in him. And he rose up to the occasion and he showed him what he's worth. And I loved, um, you know, as sad and traumatic as that moment was, we got to see more of what happened during Order 66 for him. We saw him get out. People, oh, many Jedi were sacrificing, risking their lives to help him. And then they had um, Jedi Kilaren, which he looks familiar, but I don't know where. The name doesn't stand out to me too much, but and it could be a new character, but I feel like it's somebody familiar with. But all we see is like, and then we see a, a ship with Naboo security or guards, right? Came. Yeah, Padme sent a message. Yeah, it's timeline. I'm I'm very mixed and confused, but is she having her babies right now? Is that what's happening? Something like that, but so whether she's alive or dead i'm not sure regardless it's naboo ship and uniforms and so he took grogu and left they saved everything they could and they're like just like in the mandalorians foundlings are like their number one priority as they showed seems to be the similar way as the jedi they risked everything to save that padawan the youngling <laughs> and so that's a lot of interesting information we got really sad to see someone so young, such as Grogu, experience that PTSD and that flashback. It gives us some explanation to his story though. So I am curious to see more. Like, was it him who raised him? We, we see now how he escaped and who helped him. Um, but yeah, so really good episode. Good job directing Carl. Um, a lot of good backstory and current story direction for these characters. So guys, thanks so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed this video reaction as well. If you want to show support, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you're here and you're not subscribed, if you're new or you're returning, just hit the subscribe button. Absolutely free to you. No big deal. Easy peasy. Just gives you a good easy way to be alerted when my videos go live. Thanks so much guys for being here and watching and I'll see you on the next one.